I know you're going to get a little nervous, and uh, you know we all get a little nervous. Uh, the golf pros get a little nervous. Uh, I've got I've got a story that happened actually last year at uh, Hawalala, which is the Tournament of Champions. So you, you think you get embarrassed um, ap after this? You won't think much of that. I was playing. Um, they paired me for some reason, for some reason, with Jack Nicholas. It was Jack Nicholas's 60th birthday party, uh, and they paired me along with my good buddy Johnny Jacobs. And uh, so, 60th birthday for Jack. Jack, we showed up, and I had the tournament committee go get me some of those those fun hats, you know, that have the things that go like that, and all sorts of appar apparatus that make noise. And we showed up on the tenth or the tenth day, which was our first hole. And so we had a lot of fun with Jack. So we go off with Jack Nicholas, arguably the greatest golfer that has ever been on this planet, Jack Nicholas. So we go along, and of course, you're a little nervous playing with Jack Nicholas, and JJ is laughing and giggling. We're going along, we're going pretty good, we're having some fun. Jack's not playing too good, JJ's playing really well. I'm just kind of hanging around. We get to the eighth hole. Now the 8th hole at Hawalalai is a par 3 downhill, 235 yards. Big bunker on the left, nothing but lava on the right, way to the right. The wind is howling right to left, a little against us. JJ gets up, first takes a 3 iron, hits about 3 feet off the ground and scoots it down the hill, up the hill to about 15 feet. Very entertaining shot, I thought. Jack gets up and hits one of these power cuts back up into the wind with some kind of wood and lands it like short of the grain. So we're back on this little tee. I got the wind coming in from this way hard. The green's setting down there. I got a bunker over here. Wind is howling lava. So I get up. Now there's a few writers out there and everything. They want to watch Jack play on his 60th birthday. We got a couple of authors out there. One Dave Sigalski that's doing a book that is out right now by Jack Nicholas in his, in his last year at the Four Majors. So I get up, and as one has a want to do, when the wind keeps howling at you, you feel it billowing in your shirt. This is a professional golfer talking now. So the more you try to get ahead of it and play the ball farther and farther back, because you want to track the ball. That's, that's a saying. Track the ball. That means get your hands ahead of it, hit it down, and scoot it down like J.J. just did. And in my exuberance to trap the ball to get ahead of it, I got way ahead of it. And I sent the most raucous shank you have ever seen that way. It wasn't a low kind of call. It was a very solid, oh my God, look at that one. The only thing over there are goats. There are a few donkeys that hang around in the afternoon, but mostly goats. It is 70 yards into the volcanic residue. You've all shanked. What do you say now? I've got Jack W. Nicholas standing there. And I kind of, you, know, you look at him. He goes, yeah, I did, I did that last week. I better, I better hit another one. Better hit another one. So I put it down. And I'm going to him. He goes, hold on, hold on. Let me go see. Let me go see if I can find that. <laughs> find what? <laughs> it looks like the moon over there where I hit it. No, no, no. I'll go get it. So now I'm thinking, okay, Jack W. Nicholas, arguably the greatest player that's ever played the game, has told me he's going to go find his ball, my ball. Okay. There goes Jack. There goes JJ. And they mash into the volcanic residue. And it's, it, it reminds me of those first shots we saw on the moon. Where I, that's what it, it dawns on me that Jack Nicholas has just had a hip operation. And this is really like his second tournament back. Jack Nicholas, Jack W. Nicholas, arguably the greatest player that's ever played this game. Looking for my ball 70 yards into the volcanic rock. I can see now 
as he, Jack is tiptoeing over this volcanic rock, I can see the headlines the next day. Jack Nicholas ruptures hip looking for McCourt's shank. <laughs> vivid, that's vivid. So I'm standing there, and just to make matters worse, I'm standing there, and you know how you do it if you hit a shank and you just, you really want to hit another ball and get on with it and just take your double and go. But I've got Jack, W. Nicholas, arguably the greatest player that's ever lived, 70 yards in the volcanic rock, the magma. So now Jack's over there, and now the next group comes up. Who do you think it is? Give me an idea who it is. It's Lee Trevino, thank you very much. Hey, amigo, como estas? Um, um, where's the other guys? Now Lee's looking at the green and goes, what the hell are they doing over there? I, um, uh, I pushed it. Pushed it, that'd be a shank in it over there. Yeah, I shanked it. I shanked it, Lee, I shanked it. Oh, man. That Jack Nicholas over there looking for it? <laughs> yeah. Boy, he said, I hope he doesn't hurt himself. I said, yeah, I know. He's looked at me. He's following. So now we're sitting there, and I got Lee Trevino, Lee Buck Trevino, and I'm sitting. I just want to hit another ball and get out of there. And Jack goes like this. You see him? He goes, I got it. I got it. <laughs> and he's, he's looking down like this. And my ball. And I go. Jack goes like this. So we've got two. And I look and, I, and, I, and I'm sitting there with Lee and, you know, Jack W. Nicholas, arguably the greatest player that's ever lived, goes like that. That means I gotta go down there and look at it because. Maybe he thinks he can get it out. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he can get it out. At that time, I elevate myself, Jack W. Nicholas, the greatest player that's ever played, thinking if he can get it out, I can get it out. I leave the team. I walk now down the cart path. I walk into the magma. You cannot believe how bad it is in there, okay? Jack's gone. He's walking down the carpet. Well, I don't know. I mean, take a look at him. Maybe he can hit it. <laughs> so I get down and I'm crawling out. When you start to crawl this stuff, you know, immediately, you could not hit it out of there with a bulldozer. So I go down there and I'm on the top of this stuff and it just. And I finally get there and I'm bouncing up and I look. I'm telling you what, I couldn't reach down there and get the ball and throw it on grass. I don't know what the hell he was thinking about. So now I go, and I'm looking at Jack, going, what, what do you think? This is Jack W. Nicholas. So I brought my sandwich, and I've done it. That basically, I was to, to keep my balance, and I'm looking at this. I, I'm telling you, I could you can't hit it and go all the way back because I made him go in the lava. So I'm sitting there, and I'm going, I got my sandwich. I go, Jack, no, I, I can't hit this. I said, uh, I only got a sand wedge and it looks like a three iron shot. <laughs> so I pick up the ball and now I walk back to the green, get all the way back there. And of course, now there's another group on the tee and of course that's Hubert Green. Now if you get Hubert Green and Lee Trevino together organizing a guy, I got, <laughs> I got, I got chastised just a little bit. The hole took me about a, oh, an hour and 15 minutes to play. And of course, the next hook, if, uh, the next shot. If, if you haven't played this game, or haven't played it in, in, in great efficiency like I have over the years, after you hit a shank, the next thing you do is you get the toe to release. The next ball went about 40 yards left of the bunker. Uh, I got my, I got my five. I got my double bogey. Walked off and. Uh, Actually, in Shedlowski's book, I was prominent in that book for the way I played that hole on Jack's birthday. So, whatever you do out there, ladies and gentlemen, in the next couple of days on Wednesday and Thursday, don't worry, we've all been embarrassed. We all have a good time playing this game. So when you go out there, have a good time, have a couple of beers, play the game, and let's have fun this week, okay?